Hello! We're at the table of incredibly filthy at the moment, covered in bits of dust and wires and a baking pan thing I was using for soldering. Mmm, now you can see the true depravity of my uncleaned table. Ah, uh, I should really change this tablecloth. I've got one upstairs and I think I'm actually going to do that because people have been moaning at me for months to clean it. But it's got Q-tips on it that are filthy because I was using them to clean interiors of, of things. Yes, look how clean this is. Yes, it sits on the table just fine. Anyway, enough of that tosh. Hello, we're looking at toy cars again with Vardy in the background, but Pidge hasn't kicked off yet. I've got my standard bag of toy cars, plus some loose bits and pieces that we'll be looking at. But first, we're going to look at this, because whenever I start a video and I have a brand new toy car to show, I just pull it up first, because we don't really look at new toy cars here. But I quite like this design, which is why I bought it. Convenient knife for no reason. Let's stab the packaging. Mmm. We like stabbing things on this channel. Oh dear, I can't penetrate it. There we go. Very good. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, actually, what is it? It is a, a Volkswagen SP2, according to the packaging. I just liked it because it had that very 1970s-ish look. What does it say on the bottom? Made in Malaysia, Volkswagen SP2. Yes, very nice, quite liked it, completely irrelevant to the video, but it gets included. So we've got our standard bag and some loose cars, so I'm just going to open the bag, which probably should have done before the video started, and we're just going to kind of pull out as it goes along. They've all come from charity shops, so it doesn't particularly matter what order we go in. And we're going to start with the police, who are coming to arrest the Shiroko. I'm coming to arrest you, but I'm going to have a nap first. Nick. Nee, 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 nee. Yes, it's another one in that particularly weird series, The Matchbox is My First, which has a police officer who has scratching that indicates he has a very wonky beard. And by that, I mean moustache. Mmm, wonky tash. I shaved off my moustache recently. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's the My First series. It's ridiculously over the top lead design for child, but uses the same moulding as... You know, the standard vehicles that use this, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. A Vauxhall Astra GTE Opel Cadet, GSI, 1985. I mean, it's a Matchbox My First series. I've got another one for another video, but I was uh, I didn't really want to put them in together because it's just a bit too much to have two of these at once. But it is what it is. Nicely moulded toy. Personally, I think most children would prefer to literally just have a toy car, but what do I know? Oh, wait, I studied childcare for years. How about this? Mm. Now, I think we've had uh, some of these before. I think we had one that was in dreadful condition or a different paint job came through. Uh, the number seven, I think it's a Ford. Ford RS200 1986 by Matchbox. Yep, I'm sure we've had one of these before in much worse condition. Um... The bag has produced. There's three bags that I've currently got. Two are really good and one's a bit... Uh, so the uh, one's just not being used at the moment. Uh. But yeah, it's RS. It's got a bit of paintwork still at the front. Number plate RS200, I assume that says. So all right. It's quite a nice toy, that. Can't fault it. I quite like that. It's going to be difficult to decide who goes on. The vehicles of amazingness at the back. Uh, could be this dude. Probably won't be. But it could be. I mean, look, it's even got a driver. Yes. Hello, my name's Timothy Timotheson, and I'm going to Timotheson myself to the Timotheson at the beach in my beach vehicle. That is a Timotheson beach. Yes, all right, whatever. It's a Matchbox Royalmatic. He's quite loose, so we can well, we can explore the action. But uh, before I even do that, mm, that's that's the action. He, he bounces. It's kind of... Da, 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 da. He bounces in his seat. That's the action. I think that's the only action of the vehicle. I mean, when I looked at it underside, because this was a loose one, uh, there is one at the back that has a tag, uh, but this wheel doesn't. And one of these wheels obviously directs what's going on at the front. So I wondered if there was another one, but I can't figure it out. Also, it appears now, I'm just noticing, the chassis appears to be kind of loose, which I, I hadn't noticed before, so I wonder if that's fixable. Anyway... What we got? It's a Matchbox Roll Matics 1973, the Beach Hopper. Mmm, the Beach Hopper that's breaking. Yes. Well, you go over there, Mr. Timothy Timerson, and uh, you break in peace. The police is going to pull you over, and they're going to have a lovely conversation about how not to do beach driving. Mmm, you're in trouble. Right, well, uh, we've already had a couple of stupid designs, although I, I kind of secretly like that one. So let's have a third stupid design from the same company. Yes, obviously, unfortunately, missing what was meant to be in the front, but um, it's a Mini with massive wheels at the back and a, like a red 
Baron-esque dude in the front who uh, appears to be spring-loaded. Weird, solid plastic front. What the heck is this? Matchbox Super Kings Mini Ha Ha 1975. What's so ha ha about it? Mini Ha Ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. I am the Mini. Look at the size of my head. I'm a freak. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Why aren't you laughing at me? Don't like that one so much, but I do like the way that he ended up in between those two vehicles. That's very good. Let's have this one now. Yes, look, it's a racing car. And I picked this one up because, to be fair, looking at it, the paintwork is pretty damn good. And the guy inside is very, very clean. The only real problem with this, unfortunately, is the front axle is bent. But that's a very nice car. Look, it's so shiny, you might even be able to see my reflection. But that will be a horror show, and we don't want to do that. Matchbox 1973, Lesney. Woo, number 24, Team Matchbox. It's just a racing car. I like it. It was worth buying. Yay. 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 Vroom. He dead now. I caught him. Tricked you. Ah. Bad hand. Bad. Right. Um. Oh, okay. So we got we got hmm, quite a lot. Let's go for another bagged one. Mystery ghost chaser with a dog who who who's seen some some things. <laughs> Ray, uh, Shaggy, rough. I'm not Scooby Doo, honest. Is this actually a Scooby Doo thing? Uh, it's Corgi, 1981, HP production. I mean, it's it's like a ghost cart. It's like a cart from a train or a roller coaster. That's the word I'm looking for. Body, be quiet or I will spray you. I will spray you with the spray. Yes, you have been sprayed even though you're like 10 feet away from me and I can't actually reach you. I mean, it's not terrible. This is totally not a vehicle that I'll be interested in purchasing, but it is what it is. Shame the decal was off the front and his face is literally melting. But hey-ho, now the police are going to be chasing him down and he's scared because why wouldn't you be? I would be. This is a good one. This is the one when I was looking in this bag that I looked at and saw first and thought, hang on, is that a... Yes, it's a dinky. And that late period in their lives when they moved production to Hong Kong and started producing these cheaper... God, both the birds are kicking off now. Vardy's squealing like a dick and Pidge is playing with his bell. What's wrong with you two? I'm trying to make art. And by that, I mean terrible YouTube videos. Uh, we've had one of these before on the channel, but it didn't have its um, its bonnet, which is problematic, obviously. So, I mean, it's not in fantastic condition, but these toys never are. They were um, a real mainstay away from what Dinky's known for, which was the higher quality stuff uh, to these. Genuinely quite cheaply. I think these are one of the cheapest design bases you can make with the spring load. It was a real shame the way the company went. But it's nice to have one of these that's technically complete, if not good, because it is definitely not good. Oh, now I saw this one. Oh my goodness gracious. I saw this one and I could only see like that much of it because of the way it was settled in the bag. And I thought, that's another rally car. I really like that. You know, I want that. Oh, it's even got doors. But looking at that roof, what on earth? Like, what? Who? It looks like. Is it painted on? Is that. Like. That's too, like, smooth. Like, it's on the windscreen as well. It's too, um, this is, oh, gosh. I think this is painted on. That or they've done a really good job of very specifically scratching off the paintwork. But it's still in there. Whatever's happened here is genuinely quite interesting. It's got a different feel on here as well. I can't tell if it's, I'm going to literally pull it to my face for a second to have a proper look. That's really uh, difficult to tell. I genuinely can't tell. I think looking at it, um, the paintwork's been stripped off. Uh, not that bit, though. I think somebody's had this and kind of stripped the paintwork off and painted it in some ways. But it's the fact that it's on there as well is what confuses me. I don't know. That's really interesting. Somebody in the comments, tell me I'm a moron and tell me what's up with this car. What is it? It's a Vauxhall Extra Day... <laughs> That's ironic. We were talking about how they use the exact same bleeding casting and stuff 
for the model, we've got two of the same car, just obviously with different paint jobs. This is, you know, the Matchbox My First, and this is a natural one. But they're both um, the Vauxhall Adrastic uh, Opel Cadet. That's quite entertaining, uh, which would also indicate they'll probably, you know, the child was a child in 1985. But it does make me wonder what's happened to that. Yeah, they've even got the same number plate. I'm surprised I didn't notice that earlier. But hey, that's a great comparison. Now, look, the police aren't even interested in Scooby Not Do, who's now dead, with the dinky car who's doing this, and Lord, um, what was his name, Hoppington. Yes, I'm Lord Hoppington now, is my name. Yeah, they're not even interested in that stuff going on over there. <gasps> oh, no, it's another beach thing. Oh, with the same frontal sticker deco. Deco? Decal. Decal. Same bodywork casting, same everything, although without the roof on this one, which looks like it's meant to be. Oh, I, oh gosh, I don't know, actually. There's bits missing there. And without the engine, very similar casting, same sticker for Lord, whatever his name was. Broken axles, which is a shame. What do we got here? Matchbox series, the Badger Buddy, 1971. Lesney, probably said that wrong, but it's super fast. Axles completely boomed. Mmm, screwed axles. Mmm, screwed axis. Mmm, axis. Mmm, axles. Mm, I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's have a tractor. Hello, I've got a brand new combine harvester, and I've got a tractor as well. We had a combine harvester last time, now we've got a tractor. Yeah, it's um, your matchbox, super fast tractor. We've had these before, just this one's in yellow. Yay, yellow. Ooh, we're 11 minutes in. Hmm. Going to carry on a bit. Now, I saw this one at first. I, I didn't really look. This one's come out of the bag. I didn't really look at it because it was just there. Early times, the sticker says. That's fair enough. And then I looked at the wheels and thought, hang on a second, that's not matchbox wheels. Because I thought it was a matchbox. I don't like this designer truck. And, of course, it's a Hot Wheels. It's uh, not the earliest one. What is it? 1977, I think that says. Uh, hang on. Yep, 1977, but it is a Hot Wheels when they didn't put names on them. So we're going to refer to this as the early times Hot Wheels. Yes. Now let's actually, there we go. Now we're not auto-focused. There we go. This is the angle I have to hold it at. I forgot to do the, the normal focus. But I thought that was quite nice. I don't like it at all, though. So it's nice, but I hate it. Mmm. That's very typical Hot Wheels. You can go on top of... You can go on top of there. Yes. You stay there. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more things. So let's bring this one in. Because this is a loose trailer I brought, obviously. Super gas trailer. It's a Matchbox trailer. I buy the trailers whenever I see them in charity shops because they don't appear that often. Oh. Petrol tanker Lesney, 1981. Yes. So uh, that's an interesting one because it's always nice to get another trailer. I like trailers. We've got a lot of lorries to pull this, but we also have one in the transportation lot who can pull it today. So I think we'll be one trailer short today. Yay. Right, let's... um, got three more in the bag, of which we've seen one. Everything else is new, which is uh, new to us. Oh, wait, no, we've seen two of the ones in here, actually, I think, uh, some time ago. Let's get rid of the bag. So let's pull up this one, because we've seen this one before. Uh, we've seen this one without the engine, and the axles are buggered on this, so it might actually be better to take the engine out of it and um, put it on the other one. But it is, of course, the tyre fryer made in England in 1972 by Lesney. I hate it, but the engine is actually marked up as Ford, which is an interesting little bit of marketing there. I wonder if Ford made a deal with them. I mean, it did last about as long as a Ford. Oh, no, it lasted a lot longer than a Ford car tends to last. Let's do something different. Look, scale electrics. It's micro scale electrics. Yeah, these appear in charity shops sometimes. There's been a couple sitting around um, this particular charity shop, but they're always in terrible condition. This one isn't fantastic, but it had its braids. And I hate getting braids, so that was enough for me. Of course, with all micro scale electrics, they've got magnets in them, and the way the tyres are designed and the tracks are designed, magnets are almost imperative to use, much like how they are imperative to use in scale electric sports sets. You need classic sets to run the old stuff. Unfortunately, I had to yawn in the middle of a video. How very professional. But yeah, bit of scale electrics. Nice to see that. Car. Here we go. Number 93. Again, you saw a Chinese knockoff. Oh, wait a minute. It is literally made in China. 04-07. 
S B S eight O O five. Yes, it's one of those ones. We know it's a knockoff. We know it's Chinese made. We know it's probably in the nineties or mid eighties. We know it's terrible. We know it uses Chrome, and we know that I quite like buying them. That's all we need to know for this. We also know it's on its roof. Three cars left. Three cars from three different brands. Um, let's bring this one up because I said we've seen one of these before. I'm sure. Ooh. Ah, hang on. I've got to hold it upside down now, so you can see that it has actually got its windscreen. But it's not there. This is the big banger with another big engine. I hate these cars with the big engines. They're really stupid. I think we've seen one of these without that in it before and without the stickers on it. Number 26, the big banger made in England, 1972. Mm. Now, the question is, out of these two, which one would I rather have? I'd probably rather have the big banger because I could take the engine out and then just pretend it was a normal car. It does make a fun noise, though. That's the sound of your windscreen breaking. Tra-la-la-la-la-la. Everyone's dead. See? Killed him. Right. Now we got this one. Ah, the SW Mormon Angus Lee Sisu with a lobster on. Where apparently the lobsters have grown massive amounts of sentience and broken through the cab and destroyed the windscreen, killing everybody in sight. Mm, but yet somehow, despite their sentience, they couldn't figure out that there's a pair of perfectly good doors at the back of this van, made by Majori. Yeah, it's a Majori. It's a four gone. 279 out of 234. Well, that doesn't sound right, but what am I going to do? One rivet and one catch. Mm. It's Majori. What do you expect? It's a shame that's broken. Uh Mind you, I said you can come up with interesting stories. In this case, the lobsters became self-aware and crawled through the gap in between, killing off both the drivers and eating them before smashing through the windscreen to freedom, where they now roam the streets of... Um, Calais, I'm going to say. They roam the streets of Calais, searching out tourists and people who voted for Brexit. Mm. Here's a Porsche with tiny wheels. Literally tiny wheels. And you can already see at the bottom that the text is not what we'd normally have. Yes, it's a very weird design of Porsche. It's um, it's broken there, unfortunately. That clip's gone. The windscreen's worn. It's damaged. But um, it's made by Summer, which I believe we've had some Summer products in before. Number S627. Summer Porsche Turbo, made in Hong Kong, with a ridiculously large amount of um, carpet filters around the axles. I wonder if uh, Hot Wheels pencil, literally one of the only things still here from the calendar. I think the other thing is the bouncy ball and the spinning tops over there as well. Uh, I wonder if we can actually free some of this stuff so we can assess it and have a look to see what kind of household this product came from. This one I think was brought in Oxford. Uh, I brought some cars in Oxford. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh dear. Do I really... Oh. I, I don't know if I actually want to be pulling this out because I'm now not sure if it's carpet or if it's human hair. Ooh. Ooh. That's, um... I don't know. I think it's carpet. There's a, there's a big lump that I want to get out right here, but it's, uh... God, I could really use a pair of pliers and I'll put them all away. There we go. Come along. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like, um... That looks like something we don't want to look at. But yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. We look at toy cars, uh, the insides of electronics, and occasionally old carpet and hair, possibly pubic hair, that comes out from between toy cars. Mm. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me how disgusting everything is. But yeah, that's everything we got for today. Trust me, I've got enough cars to do two more of these videos, and you'll be getting another one. Let's see if we can close this off before we get to 21 minutes, because that's a very long time. Now, there's no special car for transportation today because obviously the lorry is going to take off the super gas because, you know, he's got to drive off with the super gas because we'd, otherwise he'd just be on a trailer and that would be pointless. So in the best of the best today, I'm definitely going to put the RS on there because I actually really like that. I like this car as well. I like its um, very heavily play-worn condition. I'm going to put it on the bottom because I think it will fit. There we go. And I'm actually going to put this on as well, because it's the same casting, and I like it. I, and it's one of the few um, My First Matchboxes that... Oh, we won't go on the bottom one. One of the first My f uh, few My First Matchboxes I actually like. I'm going to put the dinky on as well, because it's nice to get a complete one. So we're going to put him on the bottom, since he'll fit. 
We're going to put the My First Matchbox Police Car on the top. And the last one to go on here will be the new one that I started with because I genuinely like this. I only buy new cars when I like them. So he's going to go on there. So that's the first lot. And off they go to their fate of being ever so slightly off camera where I hope you, you can't see them. He's literally there. And now we move on to the Corgi second-hand brigade of years. All right, I suppose. We'll start with the Hot Wheels. Will he go on the bottom? No. Yes, Hot Wheels on the bottom. That's a fair thing. He's a fairly nice design. I quite like Lord, whatever I said his name was, so you can go on there as well. Uh, you just see me move the scale electric car, so you know. Oh, gosh, because that Hot Wheels is there, you can't actually shut the back up. So that's going to be fun. Scale electric car goes on the top because it's nice, uh, and it was cheap as well. Meaning we haven't got much room. In fact, we've got room for one more. It's going to be this guy. I don't think he'll fit properly, but he's quite in very nice condition. And I quite like the old design. And off goes Corgi's second-hand crappy cars. Mm. Meaning the rest of these are going to the scrap pile. Lots of burning, death and destruction. But which one's been abandoned on the trailer for the gas? Which one has been abandoned because it was so hideous that it just couldn't be taken anywhere? It's not even worth going to the scrapyard. No, it could never go to the scrapyard because I hate it. In fact, really, it should just be burnt and abominated and destroyed. Well, that's the end of that video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Did you have any of these toy cars? Very, very sorry to hear so. And uh, be nice. Otherwise, the police are going to come for you. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, hello. Where am I? Oh, focus. Hello. I'm PC Mustache. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll be forced to murder you in your sleep.